Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing really well. So today in this video, we will go over this question which is generally being asked by Amazon in their coding interview rounds. The question goes by the name of gas station available on LeetCode and it's defined to be a medium difficulty problem. So we will quickly go over the question, what it says and then we will move on to its explanation as well as the coding part. Alright, so the problem says that there are n gas stations along a circular route where the amount of gas at the ith gas station is given by gas i and you have a car with unlimited gas tank so there is no limit on the amount or the capacity of gas you can store at one point of time and it costs i cost of i gas to travel from ith gas station to its next one and you begin the journey with an empty tank at one of the gas stations so you are given these two arrays the amount of gas and the cost to travel and you need to find the starting gas station if you can complete an entire circuit in the clockwise direction otherwise if there is no such gas station available you need to return minus one and it says that there is only one such unique gas station available so for example in this particular test case these are the amount of gas available at every station and this is the cost to travel to the next one so the explanation just says that you will be able to start from this particular station and then complete the entire tour from 4 to 5 then 1, 2 and 3 and you will be able to make an entire tour starting from this particular gas station so we need to return the index of that which is index number 3 so in this test case it says minus 1 because you can't start at station 0 or 1 obviously you won't be able to move to the next one and that's why there is no such uh, gas station from where you can start to make a complete circuit so your answer should be minus one so let's understand the different approaches to solve this question and then we'll code it out all right so let's quickly discuss the explanation part now so i have drawn these gas stations here in orange and the blue represents the distance between two gas stations so we are given this list of gas stations as well as the cost to traverse from one gas station to the other and we are required to find the gas station to start with in order to complete a full circuit a full tour so the first approach that can come to your mind, the easy approach is to simply uh, take every gas station as a starting point and try to check if starting from that gas station we can make a tour. So this one was actually the brute force solution as uh, this is a naive approach. So this takes n square time because what we do here essentially is we consider every petrol pump as the potential starting point once. So in the first loop we'll iterate through all petrol pumps to consider the starting point. And then in the next loop, we'll move to all petrol pumps ahead of that to make sure that we are able to complete a circuit. So this takes n square time. And in terms of space, this is going to be constant because uh, we are not using any auxiliary container here to store any information. So this is a n square time and constant space solution. But this solution is pretty easy to come up with and pretty much everyone with little to no experience can think of the solution and your interviewer probably won't be too happy with this one. And there does exist a much better solution which is uh, which can be done in linear time but it's pretty tricky to come up with by yourself but once you do understand the intuition and the logic behind it then it's amazing how it just comes together. So let's quickly jump on to the optimized solution. Okay so I have drawn this diagram once again to explain the optimized approach and in this approach basically we try to do this in two different parts or two different phases. So in the first phase what we do is in the question we are asked to find if there is a petrol pump then return its index and if there are no such petrol pumps from which we can start to make a complete tour then we need to return minus one so let's handle that case first so we first basically try to check whether such a petrol pump even exists or not from which we can actually start and take a complete tour and how do we do that so let's say we have something like net petrol required so this is a variable which will store the total amount of petrol it is required to make this complete tour that is when we are speaking about total petrol we don't really care where we start from we can start from any single petrol pump and we just need to make sure that we are able to complete this tour that is all we are dealing with here so to explain this part let's say we start from this particular pump randomly as i mentioned it does not matter where we actually start from we just need to go over all the pumps and reach that particular pump once to check what is the net petrol that is going to be required so basically if we start from this pump so currently we will have two units of petrol that we receive from this now in order to reach this pump we will have to travel this distance which requires four units so our net in this path will be two minus four which is negative two now actually this negative 2 distance traveling is not possible but we are not bothered by that we are just trying to calculate the total petrol. So currently we have negative 2 when we reach this pump so 3 more will get added so we will have 3 plus negative 2 which is 1 units left and now to traverse this distance we will require 5 units. So 1 minus 5 gives us negative 4 which we will have at this particular pump. Now with this 4 gets added from this pump and then we will have nothing left but we need to travel this particular distance. So basically we have 0 and 0 minus 1 gives us negative 1. So we will have negative 1 units left at this particular index. So we are just trying to calculate the net petrol that we will require. Now to this negative 1, 5 gets added so we have 4 units and we require 2 units to traverse this distance. So we will have 4 minus 2 which gives us 2 when we reach this index. Now from this pump 1 will get added 
So we'll have 2 plus 1 which is 3 and then again 3 minus 3 during this path will give us 0 when we reach this particular pump once again which is where we actually started from. So with this what we found that starting from any particular pump let's say this one in order to complete the entire circuit we need a net petrol of 0 units. Now the value 0 does not really mean anything but if it's if the net value required is anything 0 or greater than 0 then it's actually fine because that means that it's possible for us to make a complete circuit. Otherwise had this net value been negative then that would have meant that it's not actually possible to start from any pump and be able to cover the entire circuit. So with this we know that it's possible and now all we are left with finding is the index of that particular pump from where we should start for us to be able to reach that pump again with some petrol left. So now we come to the second phase of this algorithm which actually finds the particular petrol pump from where we need to start. So let's say again we can start from any gas station to check for the correct gas station. So let's say again I start from this one randomly chosen one. So what we do now is we always maintain what is the current amount of gas available with us. So we can have something like a variable which stores the current petrol available and this value also we will initialize with zero because before we start we don't have anything with us. Now what we do is whichever point we are starting from we try to consider that itself as the potential starting point. So we are not sure if this is actually the correct starting point or not but for now let's just consider this to be the potential starting point. So if I assume that my answer is this particular gas station so currently I'll have two units of gas here and then I need four to traverse to the next gas station so in this path I'll have two minus four which is negative two. Now as soon as I find my value is negative which means this is not the correct starting point because obviously from here I cannot reach this particular gas station itself. So there is no way I can make a complete tour. And now since this is not the correct gas station we will simply move on to the next one. So I will now consider this to be my potential uh, starting gas station. So here I will have 3 units of gas available if I start from here. Now to reach the next one I require 5 units. So the gas I will have after that is 3 minus 5 which is minus 2. Again this is negative so this also cannot be my answer because starting from here I cannot reach this particular gas station itself. Again we move on to the next one we consider this to be our potential starting point. So here I will start with 4 units and then to reach the next one I require 1 unit so that is 4 minus 1 which gives me 3 units left. So once I reach this particular station starting from 4 I will have 3 units left. To that 3 I will get 5 more so I will have 8 units and then to reach the next gas station I will require 8 minus 2 units that is the distance which will give me 6 units. So here I will have 6 units of gas to which one more will be added from this particular station. So I will have 6 plus 1 7. So here I will have 7 units available and I require 3 more to traverse to the next gas station. So I will have 7 minus 3 which is 4 units and I reach this particular gas station from where we started checking for the current starting point. So once we complete this entire loop and reach back. So at this point of time the last gas station that we consider to be our potential starting point is our actual answer because we already know that it is possible to make the entire tour and starting from this particular gas station our net current petrol never became negative because at any point of time if it was becoming negative then we were simply dismissing that as a starting point and considering the next one to be the potential starting point. Again if it became negative we considered the next one to be the starting point and after this during this entire path the petrol never became negative. So starting from this it is actually possible to make a complete tour and reach this back again without ever having negative gas or negative petrol in the middle of the tour. Now to talk about complexities. So for time complexity of this algorithm uh, basically what we are doing is we are starting from one particular point and then we are iterating over all other pumps and reaching that gas station once again. So we are only iterating over all the gas stations only once and it does not matter where we start from but we once we reach that once again we stop. So the time complexity for this one will be linear itself because we are only iterating over all the gas stations only once. And to talk about the space complexity. So in this one we are not really using any container or any auxiliary array or list to store any information. We are just using two or three variables. So space complexity will be constant for this one. So this is a constant space and linear time solution. So I think this is a pretty optimized solution. Although a little tricky to come up with by yourself. But once you understand the logic behind it. It's amazing how it does the job in linear time. So that was it for this explanation. And let's quickly move on to writing the code. So the code should be simple. We have a vector of gas representing the gas at every station and cost representing the cost to move to the next station. We need to return an integer denoting the index of the station from where we can start to complete the entire tour. 
so uh, let's move on to the first part which is to check whether it's actually possible to start from some station or not so we have a variable called net gas required as we discussed so this will be initialized with zero and now uh, let's just start from the first one we can start with anyone but let's just start from the first one so we'll traverse the entire uh, area of gas stations and we'll keep on adding the transaction amount to this one that is the amount of gas that i acquire from the station minus the cost that i need to reach the next station so to this value i can simply add the transaction that is the amount of gas that i get from the station minus the cost that i need that is the amount of gas that i need to use in order to reach the next station so once i'm done with this the leftover value this net gas required value should be some positive value or zero that is it cannot be negative if it becomes negative that means no matter from where we started during some point in our journey we will have a negative value which means we will not be able to move past that particular station so if net gas required so this is just calculation of the total gas required we don't care where we start from but if the gas required is a negative value then there is no way we can make the entire circuit so we need to return minus 1 no matter where we start from if we reach this point and the function does not return anything then that means that there is indeed an answer possible and we just need to find the index of that particular gas station so now we, what we'll do is we'll have another variable called uh, let's say current gas available so this will keep on holding the gas that i have at every uh, particular transaction also i will need the index from which i need to start so we'll keep on storing the starting index our potential starting index that we discussed so let's consider it let's call it start index and we'll start from the first one you can take anyone but we'll just start from the first one the reason i'm saying you can take anyone is because they have guaranteed the answer to be unique so starting from any let's say we start from this and then we move to this and then again to these values in a circular fashion in an array you will find the answer so it does not matter but let's just start from the first one so if we start from the first one so what we'll do is we'll iterate over all the gas stations so gas dot size and at every station we'll again make the transaction that we want so from current gas available we'll simply uh, make the transaction that is gas of i what amount of gas do i get from this gas station minus cost of i the amount that i need to reach the next gas station so once we make this current transaction i can simply check if my current gas available is becoming negative or not and if it becomes negative then that means that whatever we considered to be the starting point earlier potential starting point was actually incorrect so we have to consider the next uh, coming gas station to be the next potential starting point so we can simply make the start index to point to the next particular gas station's index because we know any gas station till this index will not be the correct starting point because somewhere in between the path my gas net gas available will become negative and once we're done with this also since we are starting again from the next gas station i need to make my current gas available as zero again since we're starting afresh so this becomes zero and i think that should be it because once this loop completes i will have the correct start index stored in this value because i know for sure that there is an answer so we can simply return that particular start index which is what we want so i think that is fine and let's run this code for the sample test cases so it's working for the sample test case let's submit this to check if this gets accepted and this is faster than 94 percent and gets accepted so i think this is an overall pretty good solution so yeah that was it for this particular video and if you like the video do hit the like button share it with your friends subscribe the channel for more such coding interview problems and if you want me to take up another problem please do recommend it and if you have any doubts any suggestions put them down on the comment box and thank you so much for watching share it with your friends and i'll see you very soon in the next one